So let's start our section, Coding Basics. The date today is 1-14. And the first thing we need to do is we need to define the term code, at least in the way we are going to use it in this class. So the word code is just the language your computer uses to program behavior into robots. So the language your computer uses to program behavior into robots. So let's talk about what behaviors are. Okay, so the first one we're going to define is what we call a complex behavior. The complex behaviors are the entire task that your robot will perform. So, entire task to be performed. And so to give you an analogy for you to understand, think of yourselves as a robot. You're a protein-based robot. A complex behavior would be if, like, if I asked you to pour a glass of milk. Everybody in here hopefully knows how to do that, right? But... I mean, you ask a three-year-old to, they might mess it up because they haven't been programmed. They haven't programmed themselves or they haven't been taught how to do it properly. Does that make sense? And so there's a series of behaviors, smaller behaviors that have to be done before you can do that. We would call this a complex behavior. So an analogy that we're going to use, so we're going to say example is pour a glass of milk. Now, complex behaviors can be broken down into simple behaviors. A simple behavior is just a component of that task. So if we go back to our poor glass of milk analogy, let me zoom in just a little bit. This would be something like opening the fridge. So our example here would be opening the fridge. That's just a small part of what you have to do when pouring a glass of milk. You got to walk up to the fridge, pull it open, grab the milk, walk back to your cup, pour, etc. right? So open fridge. Does this make sense to everybody? A complex versus a simple behavior? But then we can go even simpler than that. We go to our basic behavior. This is just a simple single command. So we can just say single command, probably better than simple command. And so if I want to open the fridge, I'm walking, I'm standing right in front of the fridge. What's the first thing I have to do when I get to the fridge? I have to lift my arm, so I'm going to flex my bicep. I'm going to pick up my arm by flexing my bicep. Then I'm going to extend my tricep. I'm going to flex my forearm muscles. To grab the fridge, I'm going to pull with my lat to open the fridge. I'm going to relax my forearm muscles or, ex or extend them, right? And then so on and so forth. But each one is a single command. So we would say here our example would be for us, the protein robots, would be just flex bicep or I guess contract bicep. So. When we're working with robots, when we're working with code, there are inputs and outputs. Our inputs are our sensors and our outputs are our motors. So let's go ahead and write that down. Let's start with motors. Our motors are our output devices. They're the parts of our robot that affect the environment. So robots affects the environment. And our sensors... There are input devices. They're affected by the environment. In other words, they sense the environment. I didn't grab one. Um, I have one from last period that's already filled out. You should have this by now. Go ahead and tape this in, and then we'll go ahead and fill one of these out together. I'll grab one, too.